Welcome to Tech News Briefing. It's Wednesday, July 26th. I'm Zoe Thomas for The Wall Street Journal. Commercial trucks are how most goods in the U.S. are transported, according to the Department of Transportation. But the diesel engines in millions of tractor trailers and other big rigs spew huge amounts of greenhouse gases. In fact, while medium and heavy-duty trucks make up only about 5% of U.S. vehicles, they account for around 23% of all greenhouse gases from transportation, according to the Environmental Protection Agency. And the switch to more environmentally friendly trucking hasn't been as quick as it has with electric cars. Bart Siegler wrote about this for the Wall Street Journal and joins me now. So what are some of the options for switching away from diesel trucking to more environmentally friendly options? Well, there are a handful of options. Like as with cars, one of the main ones is switching to battery-powered trucks in which you would take out the diesel engine and put in an enormous amount of batteries and they would drive electric motors on the wheels. There are also several other possibilities, though. There are several uses of hydrogen. One is to use something called a hydrogen fuel cell, which would be stored in a tank on the the truck and converts it into electricity. And the only byproduct of that is water, which is great. But there's a downside. These fuel cells require hydrogen. And the hydrogen in this country is mostly made through a device that emits carbon dioxide. So you're taking the carbon dioxide out of the truck itself, but creating it in the hydrogen plant. So it's not a good trade-off. There's also another use of hydrogen, which is called hydrogen combustion engines. And these are basically variants of a diesel engine, but instead of burning diesel fuel, they burn hydrogen. This is advocated by some people as a cheaper, faster way to get diesel out of trucks, but it has its own downsides. Not only does it rely on hydrogen, which creates pollution in the hydrogen plants, but it creates its own pollution inside the engine. By burning hydrogen, it creates nitrogen oxides, which can cause acid rain and other forms of pollution. So these aren't considered no emission vehicles. It sounds like there's a lot of options here. I mean, certainly more than we hear about on the passenger car side. What are some of the difficulties for trucking companies if they want to switch to battery powered vehicles? Well, there are a number of of limitations. First of all, batteries are very expensive. So these battery-powered trucks that are currently in the market can cost two to three times as much as a diesel version. Second thing is the batteries don't hold enough charges to handle some long-haul routes. Many trucks today travel 500 miles or, or more without stopping. And you can do that with diesel, but batteries typically can't even go 300 miles with a truck currently. And the third thing is the weight of the batteries. Batteries are extremely heavy. Trucks require a lot of them, so that limits how much cargo they can take on a truck, which could cost companies money if they can't handle as much as they're currently able to in a truck run. What about hydrogen power? You've talked a bit about this, but what are some of the pros and cons? Because it certainly isn't something we see in passenger cars. Well, hydrogen is something that vehicle makers have been investigating for decades. Some uh, truck makers say this might be the answer to get around the problems with batteries. But it's still rather experimental. Hydrogen itself is expensive, and making hydrogen can cause pollution of its own, including carbon dioxide, which is the thing you're trying to eliminate because it's a greenhouse gas. An upside is that it could be, if you can establish a national filling network for hydrogen-powered trucks, it could result in a better way to do long-haul truck drives without using diesel. Are there government incentives or requirements that are going to encourage this switch? There are actually both of those. Federal government and many state governments are starting to put restrictions on use of diesel-powered trucks, particularly in certain areas such as around ports and rail terminals. And that's especially acute in California, where there have always been stricter pollution rules, and those are kicking in now for trucks. In fact, California law will require some trucking users to begin buying non-diesel trucks starting next year. And the federal government also is tightening pollution regulations that will require increasing use of non-diesel over the next 10 years or so. Meanwhile, on the carrot side, there are incentives. The Inflation Reduction Act, that offers an incentive of up to $40,000 per truck uh, that would be purchased. And there are also incentives in federal legislation that would help companies build battery charging stations and hydrogen fueling stations as well. You've been speaking with industry insiders and observers. How quickly do they think this switch could happen? They're saying it's going to be decades. And meantime, there's going to be continued use of diesel trucks. 
there's going to be this sort of shakeout in which truck non-diesel technology is going to be viable. So it's going to be taking a while, and, and they say much longer than the conversion of passenger cars to electric will take. That was WSJ contributor Bart Ziegler. And that's it for today's Tech News Briefing. For more tech stories, head over to our website, wsj.com. I'm Zoe Thomas for The Wall Street Journal. Thanks for listening.